Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another reacting video. So this one is reacting to fandom talk number one. I don't know exactly what we're talking about in this one, but I guess we'll find out. So it, turn, it seems like we finally either utilized my phone correctly and turned it sideways. Um, also a side note, I do believe this was um, New Year's Eve, I think. Either that or we were just at uh, Crazy's house doing a little sleepover. So. Uh, let's get into the fandom talk. Hi, I'm cute. And I'm crazy. And I'm turning up the volume. And we're like really bored and it's really late, but we don't want to go to sleep. Yeah, sleepovers. Woo! Yeah. We're at her house this time. So it was a sleepover. Okay. And yay, change of venue. And I told you guys she'd be back. It's just school. And then we have finals next month. Oh, don't remind me. Please shoot me. <laughs> you know, if you actually miss your finals, your grades are going to be tanked and you won't graduate. You know, if I miss my finals and I don't graduate, I won't give a shit because I'll just drop out of school anyway because I'm 18 and I don't have to be going anymore. Is that actually true? I don't think it's true. Is it true? I don't know. But finals still suck. <laughs> Do I have that option in two months? Less than? <laughs> Guys, I'm like a legal adult in two months. Oh this had to have been in December then, so I was turning 18 in that February. By the way, I had mentioned she had not been in a video for a while. I think at that point I had like spammed the channel with videos of myself, which I eventually had taken down because I didn't want it to be just me. I wanted it to be me and her because it was cute and crazy, not cute. So I took down all of those videos to where now every single video is me and her. And I've done the same thing with Baby Boo. <clears throat> um, or Harley Baby as you guys know her. If we have to film separately um, as two different people, I should say, in two different locations, I usually have us make a video each and we combine it so that way it's technically our video. Oh my god, that's so weird. Less than. I'm not gonna be the only 18 year old anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, heads up, she is a year older than me. Well anyways, and then we can finally kiss. <laughs> <laughs> We always made the joke that we were gay for each other, but at the time I did have a crush on her. She just always was as, as straight as an arrow. I swear, <laughs> once our once our subs get bigger, <laughs> oh, I made I just made us look like a couple. But who else? Th but who doesn't think we're dating? Oh, seriously. Okay, so everyone pretty much thought we were dating because of how we acted with each other. It's the same with Harley Baby and I. Everyone thinks we're dating. This video, fandom. By the way, what was that mention about the when the subs get bigger? Was I thinking like OnlyFans before OnlyFans really existed? Unless it did exist around this time, which I don't know. Because this one did because a thing. I finally got her to watch the first Harry Potter movie with me, and she loved it. So now she's going to go home and watch the rest of them later. <laughs> By the way, so just a heads up, I'm not that big of a Harry Potter fan. She tried, but unfortunately she couldn't get me into it. I am... Not the biggest fan of Harry Potter. Granted, I did watch the first one with her. I think after that, we watched two through four, or two through five, something like that. But I'm still not the biggest fan. I, I like that I'm. I mean, I took the quiz. I am a Hufflepuff, and I like to, you know, show off my team spirit. But other than that, I'm not the biggest fan. Okay. Happy holidays to all of our psychopaths and little mice. It has a bigger one. Like it's the one pen. It looked like a knife. <laughs> you have a bigger one. <laughs> She's gonna smack me now, watch. No, no I'm good. But no, like, okay. Oh, I know her name. It, it's girls, girls, you know. You, you know. You feel for us. Our okay, so yeah, she got me to Harry Potter, which probably should. Did I make a, did we make a sex joke or a dildo joke? Or both. Knowing us, probably both. It would have been happening anyways, because I went to Harry Potter World in Florida. I need to show you what she got me, but if I move it, the camera will move. <laughs> We'll show you guys after this one. Show you later. So, okay. The fandoms I'm into. I'm a Disney baby. For What did I get her? Was it a whole box of wands? Or was it... What did I... What did I get her? For one, I've been a Disney baby since I was born. Been going to Disneyland for 17 years. Proud of it. I am still a Disney baby to this day. But now I'm a queen. As you guys know, I'm Disney queen skelly. I am a super Hulakian. And now... Not anymore! <laughs> I used to be a super Hulakian, but I'm not anymore. I dropped Doctor Who um, once Capaldi came on. I dropped Supernatural after season 14, and I dropped Sherlock one episode episode into season 4. Now I'm a Potterhead. I'm not a Potterhead. Well, starting out Potterhead. So, 
Yay! I <laughs> like Disney. Specifically Stitch and Ariel, to be honest with you. She was kind of a Disney freak, but not as big as me. She was more of a Potterhead than anything else. And I'm a Super Hulakian. And I'm a I don't know if she still is to this day. We're not really on speaking terms anymore, but if she is, that's great. I mean, more power to you to, st to stick with it. I just couldn't stick with it. Potterhead. And yeah. So mm. pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I forgot to mention I'm a horror movie freak. I think at the time I was still barely getting myself into horror movies, but later on I would really, really get into horror movies. Pretty much. Except I'm more hardcore Disney. You're more hardcore. I'm more hardcore Harry Potter. Potter. Okay, so the people who got me into the stuff that I actually watched today. Disney. This should be interesting because I didn't know people got me into this crap. I thought I kind of swung into it on my own, but we'll figure it out. That was my parents. My He's, sick. He's hugging my arm. They still sell those little slappy things at Disney, but they're like in the checkout section, the ones that you just kind of look by. You're like, yeah, that looks cool. That, yeah. I, I don't know where she got that one, though. Not to mention her nail polish looks really good. My first Continue. movie was Snow White and... Which is true. I would always watch Snow White um, on our on the TV, and I that's how I kind of learned how to work a TV remote, because I hated the transformation scene, so I learned how to fast forward. The first movie I saw in theaters was Disney and Pixar's uh, Monsters, Inc. That is also true. I was two years old, and when she when he said her name is Boo, I literally screamed, this two-year-old screamed at the top of her lungs, Mommy, that's what you call me! And the entire theater was just like, aww. So, it's just been a part of my life, and I'm not giving it up. Super Dulocky and stuff. Okay, Sherlock and Doctor Who were both my ex. Sad to say, but they're I think it's true. Um, <clears throat> my ex at the time got me into Doctor Who. I knew that. I just didn't know he got me into Sherlock. I thought that was her, but I guess not. Good shows, great shows. You know, fun stuff. Supernatural was because of her. And let's just say I had no interest in Doctor Who, Supernatural, or Harry Potter at all. And that still kind of holds true. I again, I fell off the rocker with Doctor Who. I fell off the rocker with Sherlock. I fell off the rocker with Supernatural. I think I already mentioned that. I fell off the rocker with everybody. The Harry Potter, Supernatural, Sherlock, and Doctor Who. I fell off the rocker with all of them. I refuse to watch them. My ex got me into Doctor Who by showing me Silence in the Library because he knows I like creepy stuff. And then she got... That's right. That's the first episode I started out with. He showed me that one because I think he said it wasn't canon or like that it wasn't following the storyline so it wouldn't be bad if I started out there. I me into Supernatural because... I want her to shut of, up. I just kind of said, let's watch this, and she said, okay, if you shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it went between us, just, I will do it if you just shut up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And then same, I liked it. Same thing with Harry Potter. <laughs> I had to get her to shut up, and unfortunately, <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> unfortunately, she also already knew what happens in the entire movie, because I never ta stopped talking about how often. It's true, and back until before she moved out, she would still talk about it nonstop. So I knew everything that happened in the entire series. So whoop de doo. Some Hermione is because she's my sassy princess. Well, that and <laughs> I funny tells you stuff. You yeah, I funny is. I still have I funny, and that always tells me stuff. Yeah. I know. You know, I feel like I get easy. Like I feel like I get the news better through I funny than I do through actual news outlets. And there's, like, it's great because a lot of the comments are just different people, like, talking back and forth about their opinions and what they know and all of it. And it's actually kind of nice. So I, I know almost everything. We were watching the movie and I was calling out things that I'm sure any first-time watcher who doesn't know anything about the movie wouldn't have called out. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Did I snort? I snorted. I still snort. Like a pig. Not cocaine. Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Or is it stay in drugs? Don't do school. One of the two. <laughs> I like Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy's the people. Okay. Oh yeah, the dog Fluffy. That was not the three-headed Severus. That was that was someone else. Wow, I'm that out of touch. <laughs> and then yeah, that's all my fandoms. Okay. Should I name them all. Yeah. So Disney. Obviously, my family got me into Disney because. By the time that I was watching Disney, I was too young to know what was going on anyway, so I just kind of grew up with it. 
Hey, what am I doing with my arms? <laughs> Flailing like noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural. My mom got me into Supernatural. My mom got me into Doctor Who. And my mom technically got me into Harry Potter by paying for me to go see it. But I guess you can also say I got myself into it for asking for her to pay me to go see, pay for me to go see it. Her and her mom at the time were super close, and I don't again I don't know if they still are, but at the time they they were super close, pretty much like best friends. So whatever her mom did, she would do. Not pay me to go. That would kind of. Caitlin, go see Harry Potter for twenty dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then. I got myself into Sherlock. I watched that just randomly one day. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. I'm going to watch that. And then I fell in love with it and I binge watched it. Every That's kind of where I found Benedict Cumberbatch was Sherlock because I didn't, I didn't know anything else he was in. And then when I saw he was Doctor Strange, I'm like, oh my God, it's the guy from Sherlock. Every single episode in one day because there's only three nine episodes, episodes per season. Yeah, there's only nine. It's like three to four, but they're all like an hour and a half to two hours long. So considered a full season episodes. but they're like two hours long so it's like the equivalent of like a 20 episode season. I'm so okay hang on me we're 17 year old me we're gonna do math so say there's four episodes and they're about two hours each and say that they're about half hour in length so that's two episodes there two episodes there two episodes there two... it's not even a full season it's eight episodes that's like that's a little less than half a season what the hell so excited for the christmas special so am i and for the doctor who christmas special come here mm -hmm. oh yeah christmas specials were a thing i completely forgot about that my god things change so much when you exit high school and you go into college and you start meeting new people and things change ah coming back mandy i know honey I know. i'm so happy <laughs> I'm still not caught up. I've had no motivation to watch it. I been, need to catch up. I've been catching up on Supernatural because I binge watched all 11 seasons within two months. Doctor Who is going. Which is true. I did. And it was a very, very good series. For a little bit. And then again, I just kind of forgot about it. It's going to make you cry. I know. I know. I'm already numb from Supernatural. Isn't that enough? <laughs> Maybe you won't. Little did I know, Supernatural is going to get worse from there. I'll cry because you've been binge watching Supernatural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm numb, guys. That's a pretty depressing show, too. It's good, though. But she it's just amazing. got past the clown episode. <laughs> There's a clown episode? Oh, yeah. I guess there was. Was it freaky? Harley, baby, don't watch the clown episode. <laughs> Why am I warning her? She's probably not going to watch Supernatural at all. I'm covered in glitter. That was funny. <laughs> Sparkly! I honestly think my favorite think my favorite episode so far has been that episode. Just just solely because Dean and Sam go to like a clown themed Chuck E. Cheese place and friggin' I do remember that episode. Sam's fear of clowns is funny. I'm probably like the only human being alive who's not afraid of clowns. My favorite episode is the episode where Dean Cass becomes canon, but there's no episode like that yet, so I still don't have oh, a favorite episode. Oh, first episode with Cass in it, I texted her that I ship Destiel. Or Destiel, <laughs> however De you guys pronounce it. It doesn't matter. They all it's Destiel, but nowadays I don't... Even when I was continuing, I didn't really care about Destiel. Just because the chemistry that all three of the boys had together was just really nice anyway. Sam, Dean, and Cass. So I, did. I think after a while I just kind of stopped caring about Destiel. But yeah, I text her, Cass and Dean need to be a thing! <laughs> I went on. To be young and innocent again. I wish. I'm like, still waiting. Still waiting. Season 11. You know, We're still waiting. So, the, the mark of Cain, it's the whole curse thing. Well, you know, true love's kiss breaks the curse. So maybe Cass would just kiss Dean, end this whole thing, it'd be over. And then they can move on to another horrible thing thing that they have to be realized if it wasn't for the mark of cain and for it going the way it did we'd have no season 11 i know but if D can i just mention my hair kind of looks cute with that whole growing out bob look <laughs> Cass just kisses dean now that season 11 has started they can go on to another terrible thing and then dean castle i miss when my bangs used to listen to me they don't listen to me anymore they're flat and they don't have that volume like we'll be canon 
Okay, but I sound like a pirate. <laughs> explain to me what they would do for season eleven then. Gay sex. <laughs> Only fans for supernatural. <laughs> Just episodes of gay sex. No. <laughs> How are we not taken down from YouTube? From all the shit that we have said and done, how come we didn't get, like, just completely taken away? <laughs> I swear I'm innocent! <laughs> <laughs> I agree with myself there, what? Her face! <laughs> that face is pretty gold, I'm gonna go back, hang on. There we go. I swear I'm innocent! <laughs> yeah, that face is pretty gold, Quiva. <laughs> Babe, look at my face. <laughs> look at my 17-year-old face. Caitlin claimed she was innocent, and then I gave that face. <laughs> I know, I had like my braces, and my hair was all short. Now oh, you're getting all old. You shut the fuck up, you're old too. I know. <laughs> Her face! <laughs> Fingernails. <laughs> Redirect. I did her nails, and I'm pretty proud. I did them! That's why they look so good! I love doing nails. I love doing my nails, but they need to grow longer. I miss my long nails. Segway. Okay, we're like really tired, so that was our fandom episode. We'll make like however many ever want we want tonight. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Bye, little night. We're tired, but we'll make more videos tonight. Bye, psychopaths. We love you. Love ya. I think that was before we came up with the term little psychos. Because we figured that if people liked both of us rather than just one of us, we needed a combined name. But anyways, the video was still super adorable. It's so nice to like look back at those times and see how young and skinny I was. <laughs> Oh my god, to be 17 again, just to be young and innocent and not really knowing what's going on in the world. Oh, I wish. But anyways, I'm going to give the video a 10 out of 10. It was super cute, super sweet, super funny, and I can't wait to watch more videos like that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys. If you wish to see the original video, it will be linked in the comment section down below. Or sorry, not the comment section, the description box down below. And please go subscribe to Cute Baby Boo.